What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel. Back again with TTM episode number 89. And today I have 13 returns, one with a Funko box and 12 trading cards. Let's see who came back. We'll kick things off with a large envelope with the Funko inside. And first off, I did want to respond to a few comments that I already see from my last video. I am in the process of making a how-to video on how I send Funkos through the mail. So that should be coming out here in the next couple weeks. All right, number one is George Gervin. Beautiful signature there by George. Love that. The Iceman Cometh. His fee is $25. And I sent an extra 10, hoping he would put a Hall of Fame inscription here, but he didn't, and I don't really care. I'm still happy that he returned it. Thank you, Iceman. Now, onto the small envelopes. Number one, coming back from Tampa, Florida. Let me take this one shut for me, so that's nice. All right, it's Kyle Bernovich from the Stars and Stripes set. This has been out for quite some time because it's been at least a year since I've sent this set out. But like I've said many times, with TTM, patience is a virtue. That's awesome. Thank you, Kyle. Envelope number two, coming back from West Palm Beach, Florida. Okay, we have Rick Cerrone, former Yankee. This was sent for the free-for-all contest, so didn't make it under the wire, but that's okay. Still happy to have Rick's autograph. Small envelope number three, coming back from North Texas. We have Brian Holman, who signed the 91 score and the Fleer 92. Looks like that one got beat up in shipping. Oh, well. Either I didn't include a case for this or he forgot to put these back in one. Either way, it's not a big deal. I'm still happy that he signed the cards. All right, thanks, Brian. And small envelope number four, coming back from Maine. Another baseball return. This time it's Bob Tewksbury. He signed the Fleer 91 and the Donruss 91. I've seen a lot of my free-for-all contest points coming back after the contest ended, but that's okay. Still happy that Bob signed for my collection. And next up, coming back from Parts Unknown, we have a basketball return of Randolph Keys. Signed the 91 Skybox. My favorite set of basketball cards of all time. And then Randolph included number 31 as well. That's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Keys. And next up, coming back from Brockton, Massachusetts. Awesome. Jason Veritek. That's great. From the Allen and Ginter 2020 set. I've been seeing a string of Veritech returns recently, so happy to see that I was in that bunch. Red Sox legend. Thank you, Jason. Small envelope number seven, coming back from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, so football return on the pro line of Shane Conlon, former Buffalo Bill. Rocking the Zubas. Wow, those are awesome. Included as number 58 also. Anybody else have a pair of those pants? I definitely had some dolphin themed Zubas back in the day. Awesome, thanks Shane. And next up, coming back from North Texas. All right, it's David Hulse, David Hulsey. Number 15 on the 93 Stadium Club. Nice. Thanks, David. And next up, coming back from Phoenix, Arizona. All right, it's Henry Cotto, former Mariner outfielder, autographed in 91 Donruss. Beautiful blue ink there by Henry. And next up, a local return from Indianapolis. Shredded. We have Cliff Levinston, former Chicago Bull, and another Skybox return, which is great. 
Loving all the blue ink in this episode as well. Thanks, Cliff. Small envelope number 11 coming back from Raleigh, North Carolina. We have Terry Wells. Mr. Wells signed his rookie prospect from the score 91 set. Nice photo. And another blue signature. Love it. Thank you, Mr. Wells. And last but not least, coming back from Salt Lake City. We have John Konkak on the NBA Hoops from 1993-94. Awesome. Thanks, John. And that'll do it for TTM episode number 89. I appreciate you watching and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to hit the like button. And as always, I welcome thoughts in the comment section below. Make it a great weekend, everyone. Take care. Cheers.